you are faithful, faithful, faithful. Grace for the day and my hope for tomorrow. Faithful, faithful. All through the ages, through joy and through sorrow. Faithful, faithful. Grace for the day and my hope for tomorrow. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Hey friends. Welcome to LH Kids Online. My name is Miss Kelly, and we are so excited for you guys to join us today as we jump back into our story of Joseph. So be sure to grab your Bibles and get ready because today we're going to learn that the testing of our faith can help us grow. That's right. Throughout Joseph's life, he faced countless tests. Think back to everything that Joseph encountered. First, his brother sold him into slavery. Then he ended up in Egypt, a faraway place far from all of his family and friends. Next, he's appointed as Potiphar's personal assistant. He's put in charge of everything in Potiphar's house and things seem to be going super well for Joseph. But then he gets blamed for something that he didn't do. And now Joseph is thrown into prison. But look at what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 39, verse 21. It says, but the Lord was with Joseph and extended kindness to him. He granted him favor with the prison warden. The warden put all the prisoners who were in the prison under Joseph's authority, and he was responsible for everything that was done there. The warden did not bother him with anything under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him, and the Lord made everything that he did successful. Joseph couldn't see it at the moment, but God had a plan and a purpose for his life. God was going to use Joseph in a really big way. But in the moment, Joseph was just sitting in jail. He probably felt angry, sad, hurt, betrayed. It's hard to know exactly how Joseph felt. But imagine it's you. And maybe you're not back in Egypt or in jail. But imagine it's the start of your soccer season and you are looking forward to winning the championship. That's right. You've been practicing all summer long and you finally have the chance to play. But at the first game, you fall down and sprain your ankle. The doctor says you're going to be on crutches for at least the next six weeks. Imagine how you feel in that moment. You might be angry, you might be frustrated, you might just be super sad and upset. But then think about how you could react and respond in that situation. You could choose to be angry and upset and let it ruin the rest of the season. Or you could look at this as a test, as an opportunity for you to grow in your faith. Rather than just complaining the whole time, you could use that time to dive into God's word to pray for your teammates and your coach. God could use you to be a light on that team. And before you know it, you could be impacting the entire soccer club and pointing them closer to Jesus. You see, it's how we respond when we're tested that will either help us grow closer to God or it could have us go further away from God. So whenever you're facing a big test, and no, I'm not talking about the type of test you have in school. I'm talking about those unexpected things that just kind of happen to you in life that are completely out of your control. You can choose how to respond. You can choose to have faith that God is in control and that this test can help you become closer to God. Or you can choose to complain, become angry and frustrated. Check out what God's word says about how a test can help us grow closer in our faith. James chapter one, verse two, it says, consider it a great joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you experience various trials, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. What does that mean? It means that when we face a difficult situation, it can help us become stronger and closer to Jesus. The testing of our faith can help us grow in endurance. It can help us persevere, which means that we can keep going even when it's hard. 
God will allow us to go through different tests and trials in our life, but they're not meant to hurt us. They're meant to help us. They're meant to strengthen us. Think back to that soccer analogy. In order to be a great soccer player, you have to exercise. You have to strengthen those muscles, right? The same is true for our faith. When our faith is tested, it gives us the chance to grow closer to Jesus and grow stronger in our faith. Throughout every test that Joseph faced, the Lord was with Joseph. Whether he was sold into slavery by his brothers, brought to a faraway land, or thrown into prison for something he didn't do, the Lord was with Joseph. God was faithful, and every test was an opportunity for Joseph to grow in his faith and trust Jesus. Friends, the same is true for you and I. Every test that we face is an opportunity for us to grow in our faith and grow closer to Jesus. I want to encourage you with one of my favorite passages of scripture from Romans chapter 5. In verse 1, it says, Therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have also obtained access through him by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also rejoice in our afflictions because we know that affliction produces endurance, endurance produces proven character, and proven character produces hope. This hope will not disappoint us because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Friends, every test is an opportunity for us to grow closer to Jesus. I want to encourage you that no matter what test you're facing, trust God. Know that God loves you. He sees you and he is with you. He promises to be with you every step of the way. Let's pray. God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, that he died on the cross as a sacrifice for our sin, but that three days later he rose again. And God, he is alive, preparing a place for us in heaven. God, I pray that we can have faith that no matter what test we may be facing here on earth, God, that we can view these tests as an opportunity to grow closer to you. Lord, remind us that you are in control, that you are good, and that you have a plan and a purpose for everything in our life. God, we love you and we thank you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Friends, remember, every test is an opportunity to grow in your faith. Will you say that with me? Every test is an opportunity to grow in your faith. Have a great week and be sure to join us next week for LH Kids Online. Thank you.